I haven't filmed in a while. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Ashley here. Long time no vlog. It's been over two and a half months, three months, two and a half months, I think. Whoopsies. But yeah, I actually am going to new places in Hobart, like the Royal Botanic Gardens. But first, before I get really excited and I show you all the exciting things and all the exciting ducks and just like all the fun things about life, thank you so much, Epidemic Sound, for sponsoring a portion of this video. Okay. Roll the ad. Thank you so much to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this portion of the video. As you guys know, I've been using Epidemic Sound for at least three years now. They're so easy to use. Even when I am here at a cafe here in Hobart and it is pouring rain outside, super easy to use. Their library has so many different options. I will have a link in the top of my bio if you're interested to get a 30 day free trial to try out Epidemic Sound for yourself. It's great for any content. You get all the rights to copyright for the music to use and it is super affordable. Like I said, I've been using it for many years. And so if you want to check it out, top link in my bio, you do get a 30 day free trial. And again, thank you so much to Epidemic Sound. Okay, so those of you who have watched the ad now, you get to see these ducks. See, I didn't know they had those like thingies on their feathers. I don't know. I'm not a birder if you couldn't tell, I study seals. Awesome. Yep, that's it. That's the clip. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we're going to move on with life now. If anyone knows what kind of duck ducks these are, please let me know in the comments. Although I could definitely easily Google it. It means engagement. So if you want to comment, um, hello. Well, it's taken me long enough to come here when it's not the wine fest. So I guess this is a check marks, a check mark, a check mark in the right direction. Yeah, there's a lot more here than I was expecting. All of the wildlife today, there is a baby uh, plover. I've never seen a baby before. And then those turbo chooks are fighting. Why are all the birds fighting today? long time no chat so a couple days later now thank you so much again to epidemic sound for sponsoring a portion of this video make sure to go check them out in the description if you want to save it means a lot because you guys know that i do use their music religiously anyways it is a saturday it is my weekend off i have been trying to not drown mentally in work um so today's gonna be a fun day and i wanted to take you along subscribe Woo! look at that cute little rainbow on the way to brunch that's quite a low rainbow. Okay, first time having Born in Brunswick hotcakes. Not as sweet as expected, so it was actually quite nice. And um, yeah, good coffee now at the market. And gonna try a new coffee place. People don't know how to drive, that's normal. And it's kind of drizzling, which is a bummer. So we can off, but we're gonna enjoy it. Woo! Shout out IMAS. The best bit is it doesn't matter if I am talking to a camera because I just look like a tourist anyway. Yep, coffee is better than expected. Decent microphone, so, and they use Milk Lab oat milk, which I haven't had in a while. But um, yeah, shout out. Now I'm trying to find, I don't see them. Okay, so really sad. I was gonna go back to the tarot card reading, um, palm reading stand that I went to a couple weeks ago, and it was so accurate. I mean, we feel like so much like less anxious and very validated about work. Like literally all I told her was like, my intention was like, oh, I'm feeling anxious about work. She was so, so good. They're normally at the Salamanca market, but I didn't see them there today. Now headed over to Belle Reve to find a pumpkin spice latte. One of my Instagram followers, shout out, uh, messaged me about it. So I really hope, I really hope it exists. So 
I got invited to go back to Bailey Nelson to try on some glasses. I am very excited. Let's do this. Biggest thank you to Bailey Nelson, Ollie shout out. Last year I was um, reached out to to get some new glasses and um, an optometrist test at Bailey Nelson in town. And then in the last six months they've opened up one over here at Eastlands. And we're just trying on some new glasses. It was so much fun. So yeah, like genuinely, like when a brand reaches out to you a second time, it means so much more because that means like they genuinely like your content or enjoy you and so it just means a lot so thank you Bailey Nelson um and there is a new location in Eastlands and they now also have an optometrist and yeah I was trying on some new glasses we're running a couple more errands hey. oh I heard from a little bird that somewhere here does a, oh a pumpkin spice latte somewhere we shall find it if not I'll be really sad Okay, so apparently this place does. I wonder if we can get in on this side, or maybe we go in that way, or I'm kind of confused. This place looks quite modern. So, great news. They actually do have pumpkin spice latte on the menu. The um, owner isn't Canadian, but um, it's been to Canada. And yeah, very interesting menu. Look at this view. Woo, I've actually never been to this part of Bell Reef before, but a vibe i'm very excited for i haven't had a pumpkin spice psl in like two years it was really funny though i came in and i was like i'm gonna sound really american for a second but do you have a pumpkin spice latte and they said yes Woo! look at that you can smell it from a mile away so this is called a hockey puck. I didn't know it was just a cinnamon donut, but I'm still so down. I'm so... And look at that beauty. Ooh, can I eat pork? Pumpkin spice lattes, of course. Hello, a couple days later now. I don't think I've... Um, well, I haven't really <laughs> addressed much. And if I'm being honest, I am not in the headspace at this very moment to sit down and to go through my life at the moment but but I did bring back pumpkin um like pillowcases from home goods and they're honestly such a vibe I love them even though it is very much spring here I am currently burning a pumpkin clove candle from anthropology in the US and just peak cozy vibes I'll actually insert some footage I did a super fun like getaway at the Voyager in um like the Hewan Valley here in Taz. Um, I'll be chatting with them a lot more over on Instagram and TikTok, but I'll just insert some fun cheeky little clips here. Yeah, just a nice like getaway, break from work. Work has been bringing me a lot of anxiety recently, so it's just really nice to take a break and like literally not, like force myself to not check work messages and um, yeah, it was really nice. It was very relaxing and I just feel so grateful to like be in a place like Hobart where you can just get away if you really want to. Um, and there's a lot of places not too far. So that was awesome. I am, um, about to head to TK Maxx. I've gone twice before. And last time I went, I did stock up on pumpkin candles, of course. But TK Maxx is like the kind of place where... They get new things in all the time. So I feel like I have to like consistently go back because I also want to be on top of it when they drop their Christmas things. Because I'm a Christmas stan, uh, a Christmas fiend, I am all for Christmas. But I'm very excited about Christmas. So also just, you know, maybe I want to stock up on more candles. Not that I need them, but they've just been really, really hitting the spot since coming back from the US. It's been about a month now. Um... Yeah, like I said, I feel like I kind of want to do like a full like, here's life, life updates. If you guys have any questions or things you want me to address, leave them in the comments. As you guys know me, I ramble. And if I get started now, this is just going to be boring for you to sit through. Whereas I want it to be like, okay, people who clicked on the video know that's what they're getting themselves into. <laughs> kind of thing. Okay, let's go to TK Maxx.
I don't need this. Impromptu uh, day off from work, but look how pretty the mountain is. Not as much at TK Maxx yesterday as expected. Or I guess like I wasn't sure, like I knew that they were still gonna have a lot of Halloween stuff, but I didn't know when the Christmas stuff would kick in. But anyway, it's technically a sick day from work, but I really want food and then I'll go home and chill. But um, yeah, I'm just like not feeling 100%, but that's all good. Um, but yeah, TK Maxx was fine. Didn't feel great, but that's why I have today off. But yeah, cool. quite scattered on the filming today, but had a lovely brunch at Machine Laundry. I love their avocado salsa because it's basically like guacamole, but for breakfast. And Machine Laundry is definitely my favorite out of like the Machine Laundry, Plain Jane and Madame Clark trio. These Valino and the coffee is normally pretty good. Like I would say they're normally my go-to in the area of Salamanca, Salamanca pretty much. Like there's like a, they lack like a really good coffee shop in that area. I do like Farzi. Actually last time I went, they did impress me a bit. Um, the using glow. But anyway, what else did I do? Yeah, I did a cheeky little walk with um, my housemate's dog to go get some Nando's for lunch. And that's pretty much it for the events of today. Very much a chill day. I ended up taking a sick day today, even though I've had off like the last couple days from work, just, you know when you feel like you're about to get sick? Like that was kind of the feeling I was having. So like, you know what, let me just take the day off. I've been trying to really focus on myself more. I've just been putting so much pressure on myself with work. And that's definitely one of the reasons why I haven't been uploading as much is because of work. And it's just draining like so much of my energy. And then I'm also still working on my silver research on the side. And so like any free time I have, I prioritize the seals, woo. So yeah, this is kind of just like an all over the place vlog, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. On my walk to Nando's, I ran into the loveliest um, person who was um, like, oh, is this you? And she held up her phone and it was my Instagram. And it was so sweet and she was chatting. She moved here from Melbourne about a month ago with her partner and her dog. And it was really sweet. She was like saying how much like, my contents like helped her um, acclimate to life in Hobart and yeah, it was just so sweet and yeah, warmed my heart. Very, very sweet. And um, oh yeah, wait, let me show you something I got at TK Maxx yesterday actually. Oh well first, like cozy vibes. I mean, I think this is the same candle I showed you guys yesterday so it's not that exciting. It is a holiday cat puzzle. You guys know me getting in the spirit. I've showed the Instagram crew, but I don't know if I've showed the YouTube crew yet. I got a new laptop when I was home in the US, hello. And I was able to revamp it with some cool new stickers. This one I got in Alaska a couple years ago, of course, representation. We have some Tay Tay representation. I still don't have tickets for her tour. I've been waiting for hours. So I got in the queue to try and get Taylor Swift tickets at the Frontier Touring presale. There was a presale the other day for Amex users and it was only for VIP. So don't know my Amex and don't want to pay a thousand dollars for VIP tickets because Taylor doesn't do paid meet and greets. So it's just like merch and anyway, not interested. <laughs> Love you Tay, but I'm all set. I got front row for free before. So through Taylor Nation, Taylor's team, what? So I joined the queue like two and a half hours early on my laptop and then on my phone like an hour and a half early. I was thinking like, okay, maybe we'll see. I honestly wasn't thinking of getting on the queue that early because I genuinely was like, I don't really think it's gonna make that much of a difference because I just assumed the site was gonna crash and it wasn't even gonna hold whatever. Yeah, started at two. I've been on the queue since 11.30 on my laptop. It is now 4.30. So it's five hours waiting in the queue and tickets have already sold out, of course. Um, and there's only VIP or hotel packages, but they are like so expensive. And um, I don't even know if I even have access because I'm still waiting, but 
I don't know, I'm like weirdly not really upset about it because I don't know, I just have this gut feeling that I'm gonna end up getting tickets somehow, some way. Like I already have my accommodation booked for Melbourne, so I don't know, I just like have this gut feeling that everything's gonna be okay. And I wish I had that more in life. I wish everyone had that more in life. Oh, look at my nails, they're so cute. Oh, coffee, lovely. In Australia, so if anyone has any hookups, knows anyone selling, please, 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 any of your dates, please let me know. Bagels, of course, hashtag bagelgate. Thank you so much again to Epidemic Sound. Make sure to head to the top link in my description and I will catch you guys next time. Ooh, and don't forget to leave like questions or things you want me to address or chat about or anything like that. Cool, okay, bye.